Hello everyone and welcome back to Let's Replay Sonic Adventure DX. Last time we went through Big Story with Unova 1995 and now we're going to go through Gamma's story, the last major story of the game. So let's do this. Hi there. I like how they, they have Eggman's like holding an emerald uh, animation there for no reason. Spinny heads. Spinnies. Alright, so now we can get to play as Gamma, so basically, well, first off, let's go here. The shooting range is through this door. Your big brother, E101 Beta, is there practicing. Enter, Gamma! You're not as advanced as Beta is, but you'll do fine. Yeah, just close and open again. But yeah, now we get to play as Gamma, and again, it's a... Well, you're going pretty fast, so it's not too different from like how Sonic would control in that regard, but... Um, basically, what what uh, Gamma's levels entail is that you have to hit, shoot a bunch of different targets, like enemies, character, like Tails and Knuckles dolls and stuff like that, and... They give you this second score thing. Like the more enemies you target and de like destroy in one go, the more the more put time bonuses you you'll get. Because yeah, the time for gamma goes down instead instead of going up. Like I don't know. I mean, it's kind of an interesting like the idea, but I I'm honestly not the biggest fan of it. Like. It, it, it doesn't really hinder the game too, the gamma too much, um, except for Hot Shelter for me. Like that's when it kind of gets a little Good bit job, crazy. I didn't think you had what it takes. Okay then, Gamma. Here's your test. If you want to stay on board, you must be able to pass it. So pay attention. Do what I say. The almighty egg carrier is a flying fortress that needs a good crew. Come forth, Beta. I'd like you to meet your older brother, E101. Just call him Beta. I am pitting the two of you against each other. And the winner serves on my ship. I put my bets on Beta, but I owe you at least a fair chance. All right. Now, one issue with uh, Gamma is that he has stupid, but e stupidly easy boss fights. Like you thought the uh, the bosses we faced previously were easy. Yeah. <laughs> They're nothing compared to Gamma. Like, seriously, man. You don't have to think, just look away, spam B, win. Oh, oh, oh. You surprised me, Gamma. I had a funny feeling there was more to you than meets the eye. I hereby grant Gamma permission to serve on board the egg carrier. What? So you want to come along with us, eh? <laughs> okay, okay. We could always use a spare set of parts, I guess. You have special permission.
Yeah, and like Amy, Gamma has a whole ton of cutscenes. Like, it's like five to ten minutes long, like gameplay, like cutscene to gameplay. Like, we're seeing new cutscenes, which is nice, but it just kind of goes on for too long. And like, I guess it would be more interesting if like, the characters moved more, but yeah. But like I said, like, it's the fir their first attempt, so I can't harp on, it, harp on it too much, but... The cutscenes in this game just aren't interesting to watch. Shoot down. Uh, shoot, shoot down cream. Yeah. Uh, All right. And now we just have to go to Emerald Coast. Yeah, that's the thing with uh, again with Gamma. His campaign really isn't that long, and we can destroy this and just phase through the gate. Yeah. But um. Yeah, I hear a lot of people like compare the well. It, the game, the mechs in SA2 are based on Gamma, but I hear a lot of people who, uh, like just say that the mechs control a lot worse compared to Gamma, and I have to respectfully disagree with that. Like, I understand that the mechs are a little bit clunky in comparison, but I honestly feel that they're more, they're designed better overall, because overall, like, for, for me, uh, yeah, I do like how Gamma it's decently fast, but I don't like how he randomly decides to go fast and like, with the mechs, it's gradual, he gra- they, well, not he, but they gradually build up speed as you keep moving forward and all that. With Gamma, you keep the same speed for like 10 seconds and he just randomly goes to full speed. Like, it, there's no build up to it, it's just go. And I, I, I just don't like it, like, it, it's really slippery. Um, it's not the game is not the best for platform or, any, or anything like that. It's like again, I do like that he's decently fast, but I'm not too fond. I'm not crazy on the level design um, that much, and like the time limit doesn't really do anything for me. Must and I I just feel like Gamma's really slippery and not the best to control but then again the controls aren't really this game's strong suit so, well actually no I, I think okay, I think the game controls fine for the most part but when it comes to gamma I don't think it's that good no data found location unknown this presents a problem <laughs> oh man I love gamma <laughs> Make it stop!
I must kill them all. Eradicate! Oh, sorry, wrong, wrong character. But still. He's a very loving and gentle creature. Not in our time period. This frog's the one we want. No, here's the real one. My frog is the right one. Oh, you gotta love the sonic shot of this. Uh. Yay, happy spaz attack. I like how Froggy doesn't even try to escape from Eggman. Like... That's how you know, like, that Froggy just wants to get away from Big. And he just vanishes. Is this the one? Yep, that's the right one. No, that's not the right one. <laughs> This is the wrong room. <laughs> I love that. You can't get back to that. Nope. Alright. And again, we already see this because. Yeah, even though Amy's uh, in a prison cell, she apparently already did the mini game. I just find it. I just find that a little bit funny. Like, even. If you go through Amy's story first, then do Gamma, like, it's just a little bit funny with the score there.
Resistance is futile. Give me the bird. I said no! Why not? None of your business, why not? I want to know why you want it! Data unavailable. You don't even know? I bet you'd be mean to him, you bully! Why not help us out instead? <laughs> don't you know how bad I feel? Does not confuse. Why try to save that which is useless to you? Does not confuse. I feel sorry for you. Eggman failed to give you feelings. Wait a minute, Birdie! Spaz attack overload. I love it when Gamma does that. But yeah, it's like... I guess there are a couple of different uh, ways that... Reasons why Gamma ended up saving Amy and the Bird. Like, um... One obvious answer could be that... Um... Lily has a Chaos Emerald. And that, like, basically just made Gamma just save... Save them, I guess, aren't I? But... Yeah, yeah, we've, we've seen it, so it's, it's not spoilers. Like, the, um, like, Lily's pendant shows, like, um, like, him, his or her, and, like, the parents as well. And, well, actually, no, if I go more into this, this is spoilers, but, yeah, basically to do with that, um, we'll see later down, like, at the end of Gamma's story, but maybe... Like the pendant, like what the pendant has could be the reason why Gamma kind of like wanted to save them because, well, we'll, we'll see. Alright. Yeah, Gamma's the only one that goes to the side rooms, I think. Like, you, I think you may have, maybe I was to get to the, uh, these rooms with the other characters, but they don't um, really do anything there. Like, Gamma gets actual upgrades here, but we can only get the one in this room uh, for now. We don't get the other one until the egg carrier crashes, I believe. Here's the jet booster. Press and hold the jump button and you'll float for a while. And if the camera will work with me. Yeah. Gamma now gets a jet booster because, well, Beta had one from the start, and it's just like, why didn't you just make Gamma with one right away? But, yeah. Let's just go. And this is like near the end of Sonic's story, as you'll see right now.
Yeah, um, the, it's interesting to see this point of view because it's actually a lot different. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I really don't get this. Sonic, look! The A carrier is losing altitude. Again. <laughs> Eggman and come with us. Why do you help me? 